Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4 being the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have this barrel here and it's leaking water, so that's what's happening down here. And we have a rate. So five gallons every three days. So that's going to be very important for us. So that's going to be our rate. And then at this rate, how long did it take for all 60 gallons? So the whole barrel is 60 gallons. So let's just kind of put that right over here. 60 gallons. So 60 gallons, how long would it take for the water to leak out of the barrel? Well, we're going to solve this two different ways. So first, let's just kind of do it the slow way. I'll show you a shortcut at the end. Let's look at our gallons right here, right? So we've got, let's look at our strip diagram here. So we've got a 60 gallon barrel. And we are going to lose water leaking out in five gallon chunks. So the question is, is how many five gallon chunks are there in that 60? So that's going to be a division problem. So we're going to take uh, five, we're going to divide it into 60. Let's see, that's going to be five, and that's going to be 10, so that's two, so we're good there. That's a fact. Most of us should probably know, but just in case, you can always do long division. So that this going to be 12 times there. So if we just want to double check, we can say 12 times 5, that makes 60, that's 10. 5 and 1 is 5, add 1 is 6, there we go. So 12 is an option, but 12 is not what we are going to choose, but that is probably a very popular incorrect answer. Why are we not choosing 12? Well, because it takes three days for these five gallons to go out here. So what we have is we have, let me see if I can get, 12 in this new strip diagram here. So that's going to be, let's see, we've got half right there. And then I'm going to turn it into sixths. Then I'm going to cut each sixth in half, and I'm going to get twelfths. Inside each of these 12 pieces, pretend they're even, you've got three days. So that's the trick. It's a two step problem. First, I need to divide my 60 into 12 sets of five, but then I need to realize for every five gallons, it takes the three days. So that's gonna be 12 groups of three, or three plus three plus three plus three, repeat addition, wherever you want, and that's going to, that's going to equal 36 days. So that's going to be my answer right here, but let's go ahead and see if there's a shortcut to do that. We can use a shortcut by using a ratio. So a ratio is a relationship between two quantities. And so we can find equal ratios, just like we're looking at equal fractions, because ratios can be seen three different ways. So we've got, you can use a colon, right? Five gallons to three days. You can use the word two, five gallons to three days. Or you can also use a fraction bar, and that's going to help us because we know what to do with fractions. So we're going to make equivalent ratio here, so 60, and always put your units together. So 60 gallons over how many days? We think it's going to be 36. Equals, and then we're going to use this ratio here, 5 gallons to three days. And so you, you keep your gallons with your gallons, you keep your days and your days. Very, be very careful that the same units are in the numerator and the same units in, in the denominator. But now we can use cross multiplication. So we know that this 180 has got to equal this, five times whatever this is. So if we divide 180 by five, it's long division, so I won't bore you with that, but guess what you're going to get? 36. And so our answer is going to be J, 36 days.